What's going on everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel, Ed Talks About, I'm Ed. And today I'm gonna to be giving you a little strange review on Wonder Woman. Have you ever heard of Wonder Woman? So I got given this the other day from the One Stop Corner Boys, and spelt with a Z. If you know them, wicked man, like I just got given this the other day, and they said, what do you think of it? It's called the Wonder Woman. Check it out, man. Yeah, so, the Wonder Woman. I don't know if it's the Wonder Woman or just Wonder Woman. But anyway, so let me just talk a bit about the strain before I get into this. So Wonder Woman, the genetics are sort of unknown. They think it could be a cross of ice and another hybrid, they're not too sure. And ice is loads of strains. It's skunk number one, Afghan, Northern Lights and Shiva, all in one strain, that's what ice is. And they think it's something. They think it's that crossed with something else. This is the information I can find. I, if you know more about Wonder Woman strain or what the genetics are, please put it in the comments because I couldn't find anything about it. So you know. Anyway, we're here. So smell. It says online should be peachy, herbally, spicy, and ammonia. Ammonia, I should say. Ammonia. And flowering is nine to eleven weeks. Now that's telling me it's leaning on the sativa side. So we'll see what happens there. And the effects are supposed to be energetic, giggly and uplifting. So now I've gone through that, let's have a butcher to see what this is saying, yeah? So let's open this up. Yeah, oh, it does smell funky, doesn't it? Like, I smell like it's like, a, you know the ammonia? I don't know whether it's coming through or I've just got that, there's a weird, I've got the herbaliness, I'm getting the ammonia, but let's just, let me just crack a nugget and see what it says. Oh, do you know what that's got? Excuse me. It's got like a, now you might find me weird. I've said this before and a couple of people, well, I've just sniffed up the weed. A couple of people were like, what are you talking about? But like a, a seasoned meat type thing. And I mean that in the best possible way. It is not, that's not me slating it. I like that, sm that smell. And I've had it in a uh, dosi -si dough before, crossed with sherb, um, yeah, it was sherbs crossed with dosi -si dough. And that had a seasoned meat type. It's quite hard to explain, but this has got, yeah, it's got a nice little smell. It's got sweetness to it, like a skunk. Yeah, I can smell the skunkiness, sweetness. So let me just get this rolled up and we'll be back, all right? Yeah, that was the One Stop Corner Boys. That's who gifted me this. Oh, that meatiness comes through more, man. I'm telling you, bruv. Like, it sounds so weird. If you don't know, if you've never had it yet, or no one described to you a certain smell in that way, you're gonna be like, oh, it's, you're crackers, bruv. But it's fucking nice, bruv. Right. We are done and we are back. For you, it's like that. For me, you know, a few minutes. Anyway, cheers. Ooh. Straight off the first. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 bruv. Yeah, bruv. Earthy, nice sweetness, gas, smooth. Oh, man. It's like... Yeah, fruity with that, the sweetness, but then a little bit of cream. The gassy and the earthiness. It's such a complex flavor. If you ever get a chance to try Wonder Woman, if it ever comes across your path, I'd say give it a go. I, I, it's my terpene, definitely my terpene profile, I should say, definitely. Is very nice people. Slightness of that herbalist, herbalist. Slight, that little bit of that herbally, spicy. 
Is in there. It's in there. I can, I can. Ooh. So while I finish this, let's have a little chat. What are your views on the Super Bowl? You know, it's been all like, it's not even English, I know. It's been all over the news. You know, I actually watched the Usher performance. And to be honest, Usher's my generation from when I was growing up. You know, like, I actually liked it. I think he was doing all right. I mean, when he took his top off and he was getting a little bit frisky on stage and that, I thought, oh, brother, you're too old for that shit. But so, like, but apart from that, when he put his top back on, it was all right again, you know, like, but I actually thought his performance was all right. Did you know he doesn't get paid from that? I suppose the publicity that he gets, I mean, the whole world knows about it, you know, but it doesn't get paid. I had to Google how much he get paid. I'm thinking he's getting paid dough, but no, not really. Yeah, man, this is nice. I think the Super Bowl though is just a waste of money. Yeah, it's just so much money gets pumped in it. All these sports, bruv. Too much money gets pumped into these sports, man. You make the average Joe king, bruv. Like, he's just, he's got so much money. Like, some of these NFL players, like, I was watching a Vice documentary yesterday, and it's actually quite interesting. I might do a video about it myself on, on a similar matter, but theirs was just focused on the NFL. I uh, wanted to do that people want the NFL to do more funding into medical cannabis and brain trauma. You know, like, when they bang their head, bruv, they get like, like it, it dies, some of it dies, you know, because it's constant smash, smash. But with the higher dosage of CBD, before and after games, they've done research and it prevents these cells from dying, these brain cells from dying. Um, so, I mean, there was one guy, his, his contract was $37 million for just the year's contract. I mean, 37, I mean, but you've got people like Ronaldo earning dough. I mean, I'm not into sports as much as I used to be, but I know these people are earning stupid amounts of money when there's so much famine and, oh, just don't get me started. But you see what I'm saying? The amount of money, if I ever got into a load, a load of money, say for instance, I made a few hundred grand, right? And I wanted to buy myself a, a Rolex, right? Which cost, I don't know, I don't even know how much Rolex cost. Let's just say five grand, I don't know. All right, so say I wanted to buy myself a five grand watch. I would have to go and donate five grand to warrant me putting that five grand on my wrist. I need to be able to, I can't just go and spend that money while someone over there is starving. I'd have to donate it to a, like a, you know, like a soup kitchen or something like that. Do you see what I'm saying? I would never be able to just buy something just willy-nilly and just feel good about myself knowing people are like struggling. You know what I mean? But, but this stuff got me waffling. What? <laughs> what? All right, anyway, back to the Wonder Woman. Banging. Wonder Woman strong. She is a strong girl, Wonder Woman. You know that. <laughs> but yeah, my review, good. It's a nice, clean, very, it's got the euphoria there. Like, I'm feeling that. Do you know what? I really needed something like this at the minute. Like my last video, I told you I was just feeling down and things happen for a reason. Things happen for a reason, man. Like this has come at the point where I needed it. I needed to feel uplifted. Like I'm putting my prescription in this week. So next week I'll, be, I'll have my prescription again. By the way, I don't know what to try. I might try these new £5.50 strains, you know, the, the cheap ones. Because I'm man, struggling, it's Christmas and everything, bruv. So I might try like a £5.50 one, like 55 quid for 10 grams. What's it, there's this one called uh, Sun Something Farms. I can't remember for the life of me, but they've got a thing called Pink Kush, which is meant to be nice. And a Donny Burger, which is meant to be nice as well. Apparently the jet fuel gelato isn't as great as the other two, so, but then it's all down to preference, it's down to what you like in it. But, but, like I say, I needed some euphoric, terpy, you know, cause the terpenes, you know, like, yeah, bruv, I needed that in my life right now, and it's here, so I'm happy. I'm a happy little motherfucker, you know that. Anyway. I'm gonna leave it there before I just keep waffling and waffling and waffling. You don't wanna hear me waffle crap all the time, like. 
you'd rather a, a video that's set, I suppose. Unless you want to hear me just chat waffle. Like, do any of you lot go on live? If you go on live, if you're the, this part of the video, do you go on live and watch the people? Like, if I was going to go on live, say, if I set a time on a, on a Sunday at, like, I don't know, 6 o'clock or something on a Sunday, would you want to, would you like that? I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah, I will do what you want. So, anyway, if no one said it to you today, I'm going to say it to you, all right? I love you. Keep pushing. You got this. Stay strong. Get yourself some good bud and be happy, man. Listen, love ya. See you on the next one. Peace out.